In this presentation, we're going to discuss adding data and dates and numbers to an Excel worksheet. If I want to add a date, I can type the date how I want. So I'm typing 12 slash 20 slash 16. And if I move out of this cell, you will see that Excel by default formats it as 12, 20, 2016. If I am entering a number in Excel, for example, say I want to enter $5, that remains with the dollar sign and the decimal point and the trailing zeros. However, if I am going to enter without the dollar sign 4.00 and I move out of the cell, it's going to save it as 4. By default, it does not include the trailing zeros unless I'm formatting it as currency. The fill handle is a feature of Excel that you can use to automatically enter in data. If I am going here across this row, I'm typing in sequential numbers here in a row. If I highlight my numbers, one through five, hover over the lower right-hand corner of this cell, my cursor turns to a cross. If I keep dragging, you'll see that Excel is filling in more numbers in sequential order here. I can keep dragging and get even more numbers. This also works for dates. If I do 1, 1, 16, 1, 2, 16, and select these two, go to the lower right and drag down, it should keep filling in the days. Coming up next, you'll test your knowledge of entering data and using fill handles in Excel in an exercise.